That's rules. That's right. And think, <laughs> think about what, what, what all the big brands do to people that want involved. So you want to be the, you want to be the analytics provider of Walmart. Mm -hmm. Walmart's not going to pay you for that. They're, yeah. You know, they're Walmart. Now we, in, in our backyard, we've got Dell, and they, they, yeah. they think of themselves as a miniature Walmart when it comes yeah. to beating up vendors and procurement yeah. and all that. And it's funny, because Walmart probably laughs at Dell as sort of being rank amateurs in the art yes. of vendor abuse. But uh, uh, the, uh, you know, they'll go to clients and say, well, you're going to lose money on us, but huh. you'll be able to make all the money on our competitors yes. because of the good deal you gave us. Now, I, you know... This is part of the reason that we, we've chosen not to work with certain Fortune 50 yes. companies. But, yes. uh, yeah, uh, you know, I don't think Google, I'm not sure Google is, is, is agency focused enough or client focused enough on the SEO side to have that attitude yet. Right. But they definitely have the attitude of it's our search engine and we'll do what we want with it. Right. And, you know, at least here in the U.S., there's no law against what they're doing. Now, yeah. I can't speak to laws. I'm not a lawyer. I can speak to any laws. But, you know, internationally, some, in, in the whole kerfluffle, some people think that, you know, some of these steps might actually violate some obscure regulation in some obscure company so, or country. Yeah. So, so Google may be running some risk with this yeah. overseas. I don't know. Yeah. But, but here yeah. in the States, where most of our clients do most of our business, right. uh, most of their business, we got to play by that. We yeah. got to play by the the rules of what works. Yeah. All right. So in a 2008 Google world, what's a linker to do? Well, you know, a lot of it comes back to content. Content is king. Good content, if you promote it properly, will drive good links. Uh, I think you're going to see a renewed emphasis on SEO PR, and you know, there's going to be some confusion there as some PR firms start to think they're SEO firms and kind of mess that up. Right. Uh, the savvy and some PR firms get. Uh, uh, get confused by PR Newswire and BizWire that think they have SEO optimized press releases and the savvy PR firms are going to reach out and partner with SEO firms yeah. and there'll be a lot more coordination. I think a lot more SEO firms with their smaller clients, the ones who are dealing with mid-market and below, a lot of those clients don't have a PR firm on retainer. Yeah. Uh, so I would expect that more and more SEO firms are going to move into uh, I don't know if they'd call it PR per se, but at least online or internet PR where press release writing and distribution over the internet wires becomes a reasonably standard part of some SEO packages. Right so PR is a great way for links. Um, yes. More and more getting creative with, with things that have a financial transaction component but are not you know, out there with a big target on their back where it's a link. You know, right now, the, the big things Google's going after are, uh, are, are link um, link brokerage houses right. that go around to a whole bunch of websites and say, we'll do all your link selling for you. Hire us as your broker. Yes. And they make it easy to buy links and they make it easy to sell links. And boy, do they have a target painted on their forehead yeah. right now. So easy to track. It's, the other thing that's going to happen is, is you know, it's, we're, there's going to have to go back to building a lot of links, the old-fashioned spade work way of going out there and, and bagging them. And yeah. bagging them and bagging them and bagging them. Um, because the way Google's approaching this, and again, they can, they can they have the right to do this, but my fear is it's kind of like uh, prohibition on alcohol. What they're doing is they're taking the, the, the SEO firms that really care about their clients and our, our marketing folks rather than black hack tech, techie folks, and a lot of us are going to have to back away from a lot of what, what used to work for our clients, yeah. and they're going to drive it underground, and you know, the market will adjust just like it does when you outlaw alcohol or drugs or something like that, but it will, it will mean that the link buying market will probably become even more effective, but limited to the unscrupulous. Yes. And that, that's, that's, the, that's the unintended consequence I'm a little worried about yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is an interesting topic because if, if, if the likes of Apogee doesn't get the word out that this is going on, and people say, hey, look, you know, I went to Apogee and they don't sell me links anymore. And I don't know what your stance mm -hmm. on that is, but, you know, hypothetically, you mm -hmm. know, and they say, look, I want to buy links. Mm -hmm. And so then they go to their PR firm and says, oh, yeah, I'll buy you links. I know this great brokerage or or I know yeah. this, I know this guy that does some interesting like uh, comment yeah. linking, you know, like comment well, that's, spam, you know, and that's the real risk is, is what, what's going to happen is it's going to go to either a, an ad agency or PR firm that doesn't know better and can get their clients in trouble yeah. or worse, they'll find Bob in the basement 
you know, yeah. playing StarCraft with one hand. Yes. And the other hand, he is, you know, doing Black Hat Link stuff, yeah. but he's also, you know, he may be cloaking, he may be duplicate contenting, he might yeah. have hidden text. I mean, he'll get you the ranking, but at what risk? Yes. And if you, if you put your main brand, your main domain, in those kinds of hands, you are risking the stratospheric consequences that could damage your 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 traffic on 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 all the search engines uh, significantly. Uh, you're definitely it, it is it is taking pieces of what used to be a completely uh, you know sort of accepted and legitimate topic or, or or tactic, and moving them more into the hands of the folks that if you still want to do that. It's not necessarily clear what what else is going to be done to your website. So it's definitely moving pieces of the industry into higher risk. Uh, I think in my my personal bias is I actually think this is good for the SEO industry, but not good for clients and users. Right. I mean, anytime Google makes it harder to have a straightforward, you know, kind of spade work based approach to yeah. doing well in their algorithm, I and mean, this is going to make it harder. Yeah. It actually makes it harder for an in-house SEO uh, effort to succeed and makes it, you know, I think this is all going to bring more business the way of Apogee Search. The, yeah. the frustrating thing is I've had a lot of fun going out there and just telling clients how they could do this themselves if they just put the resources on it. Right. And we've got enough critical mass and enough R&D and, and, and uh, we're going to continue to get clients phenomenally well ranked. Yeah. But a typical client doesn't have that resource base. Yes. And, and a, lot of, you know, the, a lot of the info you need to rank really well, it's not not like you, you know, it's just hanging out there, easy to see. A lot of this stuff, are, you know, it's personal relationships, it's conversations, it's looking across, you know, a, a test case of 30 different websites where you tried 30 different things and which ones worked, which didn't. Yes. You know, an individual client, it, it, this has made it more difficult yes. for webmasters following the Google guidelines to rank well without hiring an SEO. So yeah. I, I think Google's done me personally a favor with this. Right. But they haven't done my clients a favor, and my fiduciary obligation is not to me, it's to my clients. So sure. that's, that's kind of where I'm struggling with the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that make I, It's brilliant, man. Right. Yeah, it's right on. And, and that, this, this change in our industry has made getting a, a highly knowledgeable search engine marketing firm in your corner all the more important and and you know there are just there are tons and tons of people that call them search and sell search engine marketers that don't this isn't even on their radar and they're they bought links and they're going to buy links and they're going to buy links until you can't buy links anymore and they are they are putting people at major risk now they're, and and the sad thing is in, in our industry you know in in the legal industry in the accounting industry uh you know this is concept of malpractice and people who commit it actually run some risk. Uh, there, there's a lot of marketing malpractice going on. Some mm -hmm. of it, uh, some of it by pirates mm -hmm. in the space, some of it just by people who don't know better. Sure. But, uh, you know, continuing to not listen to what Google's saying here and to, you know, sort of buy links with abandon is, is a practice that's going to put some clients at risk. And yeah. some folks, you know, are not going to heed those warnings because, well, and all too often, a lot of our industry still does most of their work on a project basis rather than a retainer basis. And right. so if it's just a project and it's a transaction and then you're on to the next client, yeah. uh, you know, a lot of the, the freelancers out there don't, you know, hey, that's, oh, that's yeah, that was a six month ago client. Yeah. He, wanted, he wanted 100 <laughs> links, I got him 100 links. Got him 100 links, yeah. yeah that's, that's right, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, this is a crucially important topic and I hope a lot of people see this because this is some great information. Bill, thank you so much for your oh, time. Pleasure. If people want to find out more, they can go to apogee-search.com. Apogee-search.com. A-P-O-G-E-E, -E, yeah. right? Rhymes with apathy. apathy. Apathy, right. But it's not apathy, sir. No. It's apogee, sir. Absolutely. And I'll put a link <laughs> on uh, Web Marketing <laughs> Watch to your site. All right, Bill, this was a lot of fun to be on this panel. I hope we can do another one in the near we future. Thanks All right. Again, Thanks so much. All right. Everything Bill said here is crucial. If you are doing any kind of search engine marketing, you are involved in link building, and you need to heed these warnings because this is no lie, real important stuff because you can really get your site in some hot water. All right, everybody, this is Sage Lewis from Web Marketing Watch at the Search Engine Strategy Show in Chicago 2007, and happy marketing.